Aloha and welcome. My name is Taylor Norris and I'm a Holy Fire 3 World Peace Karuna Reiki Master and Certified Galactic Astrology Soul Reader. And in today's video, I will be sharing with you a recording. It was originally from the latest Distant Reiki Share that I hosted for the new moon. And in it, we talk about some of the upcoming astrological energies of May, and there's quite a lot to talk about in May. Wow, it's another busy month. April was a really busy month with eclipse season, the Jupiter-Uranus conjunction, and May is feeling like it's really busy too, but in a different way. So I'm excited to share with you this recording. And I also want to invite you to the next Distant Reiki Share I will be hosting. I host one every single new moon. So you can visit my website, taylornorrisreiki.com and RSVP for free for the next Distant Reiki Share. And it's a wonderful, safe space and community to learn more about astrology, in particular, what's coming up next, as well as to experience a channeled Reiki journey that is specifically designed for the astrological energies that are going on. It's a wonderful way to experience Reiki if you're new to Reiki, and it's also a wonderful way for those who already know they really love Reiki energy to come together and experience Reiki energy. So I hope you will join those distant Reiki shares. They're open to everybody all levels of astrological knowledge and training and all levels of Reiki knowledge and training, including new beginners also. So I hope you enjoy this video and find it valuable, inspiring, and helpful. Thank you so much for being here today. All right. Welcome everybody to the Taurus New Moon distant Reiki share. I'm so grateful for you being here, all of you who have gathered together with me today live and those who are listening later. So I'm just going to share some of what is coming up right now. And the first piece of information I would like to let you know is that this Reiki share will be posted on YouTube. So the astrology information part will be there in a video and the Reiki journey or the Reiki experience part will be there. And I do that every new moon. The Reiki share portion at the very end, I usually, I do not share to YouTube, but most of the Reiki share will be on my channel, Taylor Norris Reiki and I usually have the recordings posted within the same day and possibly the next day. It just depends on how busy I am. So I like to get those up as, as quickly as I can within reason. I am also available for a variety of one-on-one -on -one astrology readings to help you gain more clarity in whatever your questions may be, whether they are very practical, what's coming next, my career, my business, my finances, or if it's more about soul purpose, your multidimensional self, your galactic connections, your star family connections, I have a real variety of readings there for you. I'm also available for Reiki sessions, distant Reiki sessions, and I recently added a package with the Reiki sessions too. So if you are wanting to sign up for more than one session and work in a more ongoing way, the package would be a very good option to explore. And that's really where we can meet and do some some deep work together and you can learn more 
about that on my website, taylornorrisreiki.com. On May 25th, I am teaching a class I'm very excited about. It's another class on Jupiter. This time, it's about the transit Jupiter in Gemini. And this is a class that combines galactic astrology teachings with Reiki energy, with a Reiki journey to really bring in all of the gifts and blessings of Jupiter and Gemini and more about what this transit means for you, connecting you with your own inner guidance about what it means and what it could possibly bring in for you. Jupiter and Gemini is a year-long transit. So Jupiter moves into Gemini May 25th and will be in the sign of Gemini until June of 2025. So we have a whole year that we are really working with this energy in the class. We'll go into more about what that means and also the galactic and star dimension of that. Because as Jupiter transits through Gemini, it's going to be making alignments to a lot of different fixed stars, some really, really awesome fixed stars. So we will be exploring more about what that means too. On June 7th will be the next distant Reiki share for the Gemini new moon. And then June 20th, 21st, I'm teaching Reiki 1 and 2, and that is a Holy Fire 3 World Peace Reiki certification class. So if you've been thinking about taking a Reiki training for the first time or reviewing a Reiki class, please feel free to check that out as well. And all of that and more on my website, taylornorrisreiki.com. Okay, the astrology, what is coming up next? It's kind of a lot. <laughs> what is happening in mid-May? So as I mentioned, today, May 6th, at the time of this distant Reiki share, we're actually in the balsamic moon. So we are prior to the moment of the new moon. The new moon is exact on May 7th. Later on in the day in Hawaii time, for some of you, it may be occurring May 8th. And this is the new moon in Taurus. And I did a video all about the astrology of that new moon and our journey, our Reiki experience will definitely be geared towards bringing out the higher frequencies of this new moon in Taurus. So the energy changes May 12th. We have Sun conjunct Uranus. This is a very electric electrifying energy and awakened energy really good time to be soothing the nervous system because between now and then we are really building up to that conjunction of the sun with planet uranus so really grounding being present being in nature resting relaxing being open to receive there can be insights and intuitions and flashes and real real sense of clarity and clearing out and a, a thirst and a desire for for change for freedom for community as well community time planet uranus within the new consciousness new paradigm new earth heaven on earth your family a frequency where it really feels like oh, you know i'm at home here so that's a beautiful energy here may 13th venus is sextile saturn this just has the feeling of materialization and manifestation coming from a very deeply spiritual place of this Saturn in Pisces in sextile to Venus and Taurus. So making the spiritual very physical, this is a very beautiful workflow of practicality and spirituality melding together in a really really beautiful and sweet way. Mercury enters Taurus on May 15th. And when Mercury enters Taurus, I believe it's May 12th, 13th, Mercury is actually passing out of its shadow zone. So many of you will know for the month of April, 
Mercury was retrograde, station direct on April 25th. So it's been moving forward, but it's been retracing its steps. So when Mercury enters Taurus, it's in brand new territory. And this is very practical kind of thinking with Mercury and Taurus. It's slower, which I think will be kind of nice. It's practical. It's more grounded. And it's also like simplify, simplicity, and the, the beauty of simplicity. So there may be more of a desire to simplify communication, simplify, you know, the, the mind chatter as well, and really be present and focused and in the moment and really tuning into nature, your body, your needs, the senses, these kinds of things, physical reality. I'm really looking forward to that. I think that'll be really nice uh, for many of us. And peace, peacefulness too. With Mercury and Aries, the Mercury retrograde in Aries, there's kind of like a feistiness in the air, in the communications. And I think with Mercury in Taurus, it's going to be uh, a bit more peaceful and welcoming in a more peaceful quieter mind. May 16th, Mercury squares Pluto. That's like a detox of anything within the mental body that needs to go. And it can also be an activation of some of that mental transformation energy that occurred over the course of April with that Mercury retrograde cycle. So what kinds of empowered actions and changes do you want to make within your mind, your mindset, your mental body, and your communications moving forward that feel more empowered and sovereign and aligned with your deeper soul and spirit, true nature and essence? On May 17th, Mars conjuncts the North Node of the Moon. So this is a time for action, taking action that's aligned with your soul purpose and with your soul growth. So if you've been waiting to act with Mars and Aries all month long, the time is actually now to be taking those actions and to be taking the initiative and feeling that energy kind of rising through you to take that empowered action. Part of the picture and part of the experience and, and part of Mars and Aries is so passionate, so energized, making sure also to rest, to recharge, to not go too hard and burn out. I know I'm, I'm saying this, I need this reminder uh, myself too. So definitely making sure to kind of like pace yourself. I think with so much Taurus energy, we will be helped out in the, the pacing of that Mars and Aries that's so compelled to take action that is aligned with the soul growth. May 18th is definitely a date to, to circle here. This is a very interesting day. We have Venus conjunct Uranus and the sun conjunct Jupiter. So this can feel like larger than life and very expansive, attracted to the unusual kind of it's got that unexpected uranian energy but in like a sweet venusian sort of way with the sun conjunct jupiter that that largeness that expansion that infinite possibilities like anything is possible it's time to fly and expand and attract and to manifest so this is a really, really awesome day. I'm definitely looking forward to feeling that sense of freedom and freshness and infinite possibilities and yeah, really, really optimistic and inspired sort of day. So there could be new ideas, new connections, new belief systems as well 
a renewed sense of values, what you truly value. This could be also creative expression and inspiration that just like kind of comes out of nowhere. And you're like, where did this come from? You know, it feels very unexpected and fresh and new and kind of just like flows through really beautifully. So really awesome. And that is followed up by another beautiful transit, May 19th, sun sextile Neptune. That may also be kind of like a, okay, after this big expanse of day, May 18th, like need to kind of rest and recharge and reset my my batteries receive more inner guidance and spiritual guidance let go of any obstacles or any blocks to allowing that creativity to flow through in the days weeks and months to come may 20th we have another energy shift energy change with the sun entering Gemini. Another reason May 19th kind of take a beat, take a rest, because as the sun enters Gemini May 20th, this is like things speeding up, the energy picking up, you know, things getting busy, lots, lots on the to-do list, lots of communications coming in, lots of ideas. There's a a freshness to this energy as well, a playfulness, a lightness, but it can also be a bit like scattering in many different directions here. So with the speed, just being very mindful, being very present and aware of your energy and your needs and having discernment because like lots of opportunities to scatter your energy and to be distracted potentially too can be there. So having that that focus and that clear intention will be very helpful. May 22nd, we have the Sun, Trine, Pluto, and also Venus conjunct Jupiter. And this is another kind of May 22nd, 23rd time of like, wow. (laughs) Wow energy here with Sun, Trine, Pluto. This This is really talking more about our soul alignment, our communal alignment, important communications, important networking, important types of connections coming in, relationships, ideas, ideas exchange as the sun will be in the sign of Gemini and Pluto in the sign of Aquarius. This can be a lot of insights and mental clarity as well. With Venus conjunct Jupiter and Taurus, that's kind of our our other, you know, Sun and Pluto are in air signs, Venus and Jupiter both in Earth signs. So a bit more practical, a bit more grounded, a bit more in touch with the material world here and really like soaking in the sweetness of the opportunities that are at hand. With Venus conjunct Jupiter too, this can be like overindulgence, overspending, those sorts of things, particularly in the sign of Taurus. So being very mindful of yourself, like just kind of observing yourself and your relationships. This could also be like you're needing to spend money on things that are very important to you too with Sun, Trine, Pluto. Just knowing that that energy of kind of overdoing it can be there, but it can also be this time of wish fulfillment as well of, of great pleasure and wonder and awe and noticing beauty and feeling connected to yourself, to nature, the sense of infinite possibilities, infinite abundance, good fortune, and really receiving some of that those like abundance codes within your being activating your sense of worthiness as well with Venus conjunct Jupiter in the sign of Taurus radically connecting with your sense of worth for just being and just existing May 23rd we have Venus sextile Neptune and that that flows into more of that 
that spiritual connection, that creative inspiration, that divine flow. And this is really like romantic and imaginative and very beautiful as well. So all of these energies very much alive and a part of also this May 23rd full moon in Sagittarius. I will do a separate video on that full moon, but it it has that Venus conjunct Jupiter being a part of it. And even I think the sun is there too, the sun in Gemini and Venus conjunct Jupiter, Venus sex on Neptune. It's this is going to be a beautiful Sagittarius full moon. Definitely looking forward to that, that sense of just like expanded possibilities, expanded horizons, freedom, insights, clarity, seeing the bigger picture, connecting the dots, just really, really extraordinary energy. I added here to a few of the transits beyond the full moon that feel significant to include here. May 23rd, shortly after this full moon, we have Venus entering the sign of Gemini. So that's even more of that kind of busyness, lots of possibilities, lots of things to say yes to, many opportunities. And Venus in Gemini wants to do all the things, say yes to all the things and learn about all the things and listen. Venus is our, our listening. Be listening to all the things. And this can be a time for a lot of like messages coming through, listening for your messages, listening for guidance as well. May 23rd also, so same day as that full moon, Jupiter, sextile neptune so we had venus sextile neptune and then later in that day jupiter is sextile neptune this is a really interesting aspect because jupiter and neptune are both outer planets neptune much farther out than jupiter but jupiter is still you know one of the further out planets and so you can think back to when jupiter and neptune were conjunct in the sign of Pisces that occurred in April of 2022. So thinking back about two years ago, what was going on in your life? What seeds of possibility and potential were you planting back when Jupiter was conjunct Neptune in Pisces in April of 2022? I know in Holy Fire Reiki land, that is when the world peace Reiki energy came through and many of us were upgrading into that and welcoming in those frequencies as well. You know, looking back and reflecting on how much you've grown in the last two years, what you've manifested, how your spiritual connection has deepened as well your appreciation for beauty and also your sense of expanding into your own inner guidance and into your own spiritual connection, your own creative possibilities and really like being of spiritual service as well with that conjunction occurring in the sign of Pisces. And now with Jupiter in Taurus entering Gemini, it's like, well, how have you made it physical in Taurus and, and kind of celebrating that? How have you felt inspired as Jupiter transited Aries made it physical, Jupiter in Taurus? And now as Jupiter is entering Gemini, how are you communicating it? How are you sharing it with others? How has your mindset shifted as well? How's your mental body expanded to accommodate that 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 huge world peace energy and, and whatever else that Jupiter Neptune conjunction in April of 2022 may have brought up for you? This could have been no big changes in your life and your spiritual path in your spiritual growth. So 
really awesome to reflect upon that. May 25th, of course, we have Jupiter entering the sign of Gemini. And as I said, I'm teaching a class on that. Really excited to tune into that. That's I will do a separate video also on Jupiter and Gemini. So that will be ushering in a Jupiter return for anybody who has Jupiter in the sign of Gemini in your natal chart. And really, it's a wonderful energy for anybody with any Gemini placements whatsoever, you know, whether that's your sun, your moon, your nodes, your natal Jupiter, and so on. Maybe your Gemini rising or Gemini midheaven. This is a really wonderful time. My Jupiter's in Gemini, so I'm like, rock on. This is <laughs> this is very, very exciting and uh, feels like an energy that's really coming home. That's so, my birthday. On May 25th? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Uh, happy happy Jupiter and Gemini birthday <laughs> light that is that's really rad it's my mom's birthday too <laughs> I love yes. it. that that's awesome and that too that's like okay this is going to be a great year for Jenny's mom <laughs> and for light like this is this would be a definite sign of of good fortune and blessings and protection too with with Jupiter so an expansion expanded horizons so really really exciting I love that any questions about any of this I know I just shared a whole lot of astrology and I know we're all levels of astrology here too yeah go ahead Michelle I just want to say it it just feels different and lighter and more hopeful I I think just for the collective, it just feels different than what we've we've been such intense and deep um, journeying, you know, since the beginning of this year. It feels like, and um, just as you were talking, it just it just feels much lighter and much more engaging and dynamic um, in terms of the flow, uh, the opportunities for and the intention opportunities are really pretty powerful for abundance, I feel. Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks for sharing that. It feels very exciting. And yeah, definitely a, a sense of, of lightness and possibility. And I, I think really it's like, we're going to have a lot more of that with Jupiter and Gemini for a whole year also. Yeah. 